Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Let's go. I see why she has a middle snowflake. She's bringing it, right? So she's talking to her husband. She's packing. The girls are getting ready to go to Milwaukee. And she has some tea about Brittany. So Brittany is in a relationship with Jared Osmond, Dunning and Marie Osmond's nephew, I believe. So he is apparently a man about town because he's hollering at her brow girl. So child, a girl has sent Angie the text between her and Jared. And she got his name up here, Jared, in the, in the DMs, right? He said something about you are so fine. I can't see what she said, but he got laughing faces and licking tongue out emojis. She doesn't know if she needs to tell Brittany because she doesn't know Brittany that well. But if you know Angie, she's going to tell her. So now this is Browen. This is the new girl. I like her. She and Lisa are friends. But last week when they were at a dinner, she said Lisa did not take up for her when um, Heather was coming at her. So they have made it to the airport. And this one right here, Browen, she has an attitude. So Mary is talking to Whitney and she is letting her know that she's coming to Milwaukee, but she's going to be coming on her own plane. <laughs> then as they are waiting to get on the plane, this was the shocker because Whitney had invited Meredith. Meredith said she had something to do, but she sent her a text and said she was coming. So Whitney was a little shocked. This is the very reason why Mary came on her own plane. She, she did not have time for these girls. Mary has made it. And she's a mess. But she made it before the girls and they came in behind her. So everybody is at the hotel. I'm glad she made it. So, of course, the ladies are in and Lisa is sucking all the attention out of the room. Um, her son, Jack, is doing his journey or whatever. And he's in somewhere in South America and he's gotten sick. So somebody asked about, Brittany asked about her son. So then she goes into tears. Mary comes and consoles her, which is wild. But once again, she wants to be the center of attention. So all the ladies are bringing friends. This is Eleni, Melanie, Melanie. This is Whitney's friend. She has a husband and about four or five kids. So she's tagging along. Do you realize that they have all these women to take the space of one woman, Monica, who ruled last season? That's what they're doing. But the women are going to the casino. Uh, Whitney is taking Mary to a bobblehead museum because Mary called her a bobblehead. And then, like I said, they're going to a basketball game. They have a suite. So this is going good. So, child, this is Brittany, right? She's the one that's going with Jared Osmond. I think she is going with Jared, and I think Jared is going with whoever he wants to go with. But she's trying to FaceTime him, and he did not pick up the call. Angie goes in to check on Brown, and Brown quickly lets her know that she and Heather are okay, not good, but she is furious at Lisa because Lisa is her friend, and she felt like Lisa should have had her back, and she didn't. Lisa is nobody's friend. So now um, Whitney and Heather are in the room talking just to themselves. And she feels like Brownwin is not Whitney's friend. But Whitney feels a little different. She thinks it's BS. Because she thinks Brownwin is just trying to attach herself to whoever in the group. I think Brownwin can kind of stand on her own. So this is the group that went to the Bobblehead Museum. And it was real cute. They did a scavenger hunt. They had to find different stars and football players and things like that. I thought this was really cute. So the casino group, right? They over there at the casino, Mormons, gambling. It's all something they shouldn't do. But Brittany over here on the end is stressed to the max because she has not yet heard from Jared. Then he finally texts and said, oh, how did I miss your call? So this is his text, right? He did not miss the call. He just didn't answer. So then Lisa says, can I reply? Do you mind if I reply, baby? She said, hey, sorry, I'm having the best time with the girls. I'll call you if I get in early, thanks, or something like that. So this is what Lisa says. You have to be done unless he makes a major, major change. Like she is all in this relationship. I don't think Jared knows that. But this is what she says. But he did ask me to be his girlfriend. Poor thing, she is so pitiful. And meanwhile, Angie is ready to talk. Child, so Heather and Meredith have gone to the bar. Heather lets Meredith know that Whitney was trying to, you know, 
give an olive branch by asking her Meredith to bring her caviar. But she said Meredith was like, I'm bringing my caviar anyway. And she was like, um, how was that her offering me an olive branch? Then Meredith <laughs> lets Heather know that the people around town are talking about Whitney's jewelry. Child, they said Whitney's jewelry is from Alibaba. <laughs> Well, are you gonna say something she was like i don't think it's my place because she's not gonna take it right for me and she said i've been in this business for a long time and she didn't ask me so hey if i let you know maybe you can let her know but ellie baba so the ladies have made it to the bucks game look at angie she's all in her greek get up she is ready so they're down here on the front row a couple of players had come up they took pictures with them look at it <laughs> Angie with these Greek glasses on. Like, she is all about it. Honey, so they come get the ladies and take them to their suite. Now, Mary said she had to go to the bathroom, but she doesn't use public bathrooms. Child Mary is giving advice of what to do if you don't want to use public restrooms. Uh, get you some super-sized tampons, put them up there, no mediums or the smalls. This is Mary's season. She should really be holding that middle snowflake. Child, so she finally got to Jerry. This is Brittany. This is Jerry right here on the phone, FaceTime. Everybody's at the game enjoying it. And then even Lisa turns around and say, Brittany, are you taking selfies? She's just trying to be nosy because she knows she's talking to that man. So now the whole time she's sitting there talking to Jared, Angie is over here talking to Brownwin, talking about the brow girl, met him, showing her the text messages. Brownwin said, if that was me, I would want to know. And she was like, if that was me, I would want to know. So, child, she's showing Brownwin more text from the brow girl. I mean, DMs. This is in the DM. He's saying, and yes, me and Britt are not together. That's what he said. So she turns around and she says, are you all talking about me? And what did she say that for? Angie said, absolutely. Um, my brown girl says that uh, Jerry has been DMing her. And he says that you all are not together. You all are not official. He's told her everything about your relationship. She is devastated. Like a 16-year-old devastated. So, honey, she has left out crying. And, <laughs> like, she is a mess. So Meredith walks her out. So Meredith tells Brittany, maybe you need to be by yourself for a while. Figure out what you want, right? And let's go back and join the girls. So that's what they did. Child, this new Mary is smiling and dancing and having a good time. And I'm here for it. Now let's get to what's really going on. So these two, Brownwin really has a problem with Lisa because Lisa is not a friend and she's quickly finding that out. Lisa has talked about Whitney's friend and her fashions and how she's not welcome at Nordstrom's anymore. So Brownwin told Malini exactly what Lisa said. So Malini said, um, do you have a problem with my clothes? Because I heard from Brownwin that you said that I can't dress. The reason Lisa's head is like this because she about to start telling a lie. Now the whole time Heather's like, what's really going on? This is some Brownwin situation because Lisa and Brownwin, they're not getting along. Lisa's like, oh no, all I said was your outfit probably came from Nordstrom's and not from Versace or whatever. Lying, child. But then Brown was saying, well, it's going to be like this. And then you give a little and she gives a little. Y'all going to have to give me a little. And then you're going to have to do that same thing with Heather. Heather's over there shocked. She cannot quite understand why Brownwood is calling her name. But there is a little stress between them. This is a good season. Now, Lisa's over here talking about, I support my friends. I don't know what to do in this situation. This is all new to me. It's new to you because this is a new person that you have to deal with on the show, and she's not taking your stuff. Lisa doesn't know how to handle that. Brownwin is a great addition to the show. She has just called Lisa and Heather out on them talking about Whitney, but then getting at her for saying something about Whitney, right? And Whitney is kind of right about Heather. Since Monica, she is very eerie of new people coming in and having an opinion so quick. But Brownwin is a different kind of chick. Meanwhile, Lisa's sitting over there listening to Heather and Brownwin go at it because she doesn't want to speak and be found out for the non-friend that she is. Y'all, this is a good season. It's your girl, Millie Sean. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.